In the south of France, nestled on a hill of olive trees, penis pinea, and a vineyard, a family retreat was designed with the mission of maintaining the vitality of the site. An agricultural plot, the family's mission was to cultivate the landscape as part of their stewardship. The house also needed to respect strict zoning guidelines for regional vernacular materials and construction processes, while leveraging the sloping terrain. This resulted in the integration of landscape and house through the production of a monumental vaulted threshold to a central courtyard. To divide the plan of the rhomboid courtyard vertically into two L's, each at a different level, was part of a strategy to shield the spaces, both interior and exterior, from the eyes of the neighbors. The two wings are oriented towards the neighbors with relatively opaque walls that protect the courtyard. You can walk to the courtyard under the cantilevered wing, and the landscape literally cuts through the house. Visitors enter the site from a driveway, where the imposing mass of the house, with its cantilevered prow in the corner, looms to the left. On the main and upper level, the primary spaces progress along a line on the west side of the house, with the main entrance, the master bedroom, and an office to the north. Long corridors to the rooms are lit by the ethereal daylight from windows overlooking the pool water. The lower level is nestled into the slope and has six bedrooms that open onto the series along the east and south sides of the house. A family room occupies the corner of the L-shaped plan. With its rough concrete walls, intricate circulation paths, and bold structure, Villa Varoise may appear as a heroic composition, hiding the modestly scaled spaces. The concrete is raw and uses local aggregates, giving a subtle orange hue that matches the color of the earth in the area. The partition walls between the lower level rooms are eight inches thick concrete, providing superior acoustics and structural support. On the exterior, these walls taper down to just two inches wide, giving the glazed east facade a subtle columnar order. Most of the interior walls are board-formed concrete, with some more finely finished areas clad in MDF, providing a smooth, almost satin-like surface. Non-structural walls are teak veneer factories, often concealing built-in storage. 
The teak trellises outside the bedroom windows shelter spaces from direct sunlight and provide security for the house when it is unoccupied. 